world we live in today is drastically different from two decades ago. We were able to safely travel across the country within a couple of hours, and we were able to use our cellular devices to connect with others instantly. And with the release of Amazon Go, we were able to shop wirelessly. With artificial intelligence, AI, more responsibilities have fallen unto us as a nation. As technology evolves at a rapid pace, our inability to keep up will have major influences on the world. Major examples of this are how AI is making us illiterate, posing a threat to our economy, and most importantly, how AI is posing a threat to our national security. Although technology can be beneficial, people are actually becoming illiterate and use autocorrect almost every time they want to type something. A test was taken in Britain to test the variety of age groups to spell some rather easy words, such as necessary, definitely, and separate. Anyone over the age of 65 had a much higher score than those aged 18 to 24. This proves that the younger demographic are becoming over-reliant on the new technology. Becoming over-reliant on technology will be cata, 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 cata. catastrophic. Catastrophic. Thanks, Otto, correct? You are welcome. Becoming over-reliant on technology will be catastrophic if it were to become non-functional or inoperable. Machines are taking jobs that require repetitive movement from a human, and once that technology is gone, there will be no one with the knowledge to do the routine. In fact, some of the world's biggest tech giants, such as Elon Musk, warns us of the impending consequences that may result from unpredictable failures of this type of technology. Well-renowned technological leaders display their concern when they limit their children's phones and social media usage. According to Arend Hintz from the journal Scientific American, the trap becomes apparent when we try to engineer AI without understanding intelligence or cognition first. Aside from the well-known incident of the fictional AI from 2001, sp A Space Odyssey, known as HAL 9000, there happened to be a real-life occurrence at the Facebook headquarters. Two chatbots were challenged to come up with a better bargaining method as they have had a discussion, but Facebook's employees did not anticipate them to come up with their own language. Humans will need to know the knowledge that this technology possesses before understanding what, what their potentially dangerous intentions are. As you can see, technology becomes society's crutch. Our biggest challenge in this world is to take responsibility for our risk-filled technological endeavors and recognize the sheer impact that they will have on both society and economy. According to Kai Fu Lee from New York Times, AI will reshape what work means and how wealth is created, leading to unprecedented economic inequalities and even altering the global balance of power. In a worldly context, a growing population such as that of the U.S. and that of China is usually considered to be an economic asset. However, in the AI age, it will be an economic liability since it will be comprised of mostly displaced workers. In the grand scheme of things, as AI is adopted throughout the whole world, countries will be forced to negotiate with whichever country supplies most of their AI software. Economic arrangements such as this will inevitably reshape a lot of geopolitical alliances. We shouldn't completely stop the development of technology, but we do need to set limitations and adjust our social norms to accommodate for this rapid process. Once again, major examples of how AI is changing our lives is how AI is making us illiterate posing a threat to our economy, and posing a threat to our security. What we can do to address this issue is as easy as three steps. One, educate yourself. Read books about automation. Number two, talk with your friends and family about automation. We can't ignore it because it's scary and unpredictable. We need a public discourse on this so we can decide as a country what we should do about it before corporations and, the, and their bottom lines decide for us. Number three, contact your representative. Talk to them about a robot tax or a basic income or invest money into technolo technology education, whichever best aligns with your political views.